hello everybody it's me with a little bit of the lockdown look going on yeah i've got lockdown hair don't really care and it was a case of having time to make this video or not so here i am and i've got a cat just out of the picture climbing on the bed next to me so yeah who knows what's gonna happen next so this video is about being triggered can you relate can you relate to that you know the whole I've been triggered thing yeah it, it gets a bit dramatic sometimes doesn't it but what's it actually all about so I wanted to talk about this and and define what triggers are and also how you know when you have been triggered so when you're triggered by something in your environment by something someone has said by an event by something on the news by a song on the radio a trigger can come at you in any way at all and we often don't expect them and when they do come that trigger guess what triggers a feeling in us it triggers a feeling and then the feeling can start an internal dialogue or can happen the other way around you can have an internal dialogue and then you can feel the feeling and suddenly you're in a position where you want to respond or react to that trigger and usually the reaction that we have is way out of proportion to the initial event and this is one of the things that can, can tell you that you've been triggered because your reaction is what other people would consider to be way out of the realms of normal or realistic for that event so what kind of stuff do i mean well relationships are a really good learning ground for this aren't they because it is so easy for you to be triggered by something in a relationship for example the dirty coffee cup on the countertop when someone goes to work and they leave that dirty coffee cup on the counter that can be a massive trigger to you and it can make you feel all kinds of rage frustration resentment it can start an internal dialogue about the fact that you don't feel respected the fact that they never help they don't think about your feelings they leave everything up to you whatever it is that you start saying to yourself about that coffee cup now here's the thing guys right it's not about the coffee cup it ain't that it's not about leaving the clothes next to the laundry basket not putting them sorts of domestic references in here aren't there um probably just because it's something that we can all relate to but it's not about the trigger it's not about that one incident so when you are triggered it's a really good idea to pause to step back and to really look for what is underneath that now a trigger is unfinished business it's the universe waving a little flag and saying to you you've got shit to sort out about this you've got stuff about this and it's not even just about this it's about stuff that's underneath this so a really good way of helping yourself with triggers and this is really practical stuff because if you are triggered you don't want to go around feeling rage all the time you don't want to go around feeling angry and like you're going to explode all the time or upset or anxious so when you are triggered pause acknowledge it be conscious and aware of the fact that you're being triggered and that your your behavior or your response is totally out of proportion to what has happened and then it's your job to find out what that's really about and a lot of us avoid this because we don't want to go there because doing the work doing the healing shining shining a light on your shit is not comfortable is it it's not good owning the stuff and looking and digging into the wounds and clearing up your side of the street it's not a pleasant experience at times but it's that process that is uncomfortable on the other side of it you can be free of the trigger or you can certainly have it affect your life your relationships and your experience a whole lot less than it does right now so what can you actually do if you've been triggered so let's play a scenario out here so let's say that something's happened we'll use the coffee on the on the countertop as an example someone's done that they've gone out to work you've asked them before they haven't listened they've done it again 
and you feel really, really triggered by this. So instead of sending them nasty text messages, instead of letting it all boil up until they come home from work and having a go at them, it's your job to acknowledge that there's more going on. It's your job to find out what it is that's going on. And the way to do this is to do the work, is to sit with it. Sometimes writing it out can help. Sometimes writing on a piece of paper, what else might this mean? What might this be showing me? What might this be revealing to me? And then just sitting with it and working through what it is that it could be if it wasn't that. What does this mean to you? What are you making this mean is another really good question to ask yourself. Are you making it mean that they don't care? Are you making it mean that um, they disrespect you or that they have got no regard for your time, for example? And once you start digging into that and you drill down and you ask yourself, and what could that mean? And what could that mean? And what could that mean? You can get closer and closer and closer to the core of what it is. And instead, you can have a really conscious discussion with someone about what it is that is bothering you rather than the coffee cup on the countertop. Instead of that, you can have a really good discussion, a conscious discussion about the fact that you don't feel as if your time is valued in the relationship and that a lot of the household stuff falls to you and that makes your self-worth lower than it ought to be and it also makes you feel like you're not good enough and then you can dig into that a bit more and you can ask yourself and where's that from and that might go back to something that you need to resolve as well and if you keep digging and digging and you keep asking yourself these questions these open questions and remember when you write it down you don't have to show anyone you can write all of this stuff down with the intention of no one else reading it apart from you so it's totally private let it all flow out and let it lead you to what is at the core and once you get to that core issue that's the work that you need to do on healing that core issue and once you've done that you're not going to make the trigger mean what you used to make it mean because it's a mixed up association that creates that response that you come out with and then you're going to feel less of the emotion that is destructive whether it's anger whether it's jealousy whether it's fury whether it's resentment you're going to feel less of that and you're going to be happier and more balanced and also you're going to be triggered less which means that you're not going to be displaying that so that can be massively healing for relationships too so the memo is if you are triggered notice that you're being triggered be consciously aware of it and the way to do that is to step back and observe your own behavior. And you might get cues from people around you who are like, wow, that was a bit much or whoa, that was a bit out of proportion. If they say that, then it's okay to step back and check yourself and say, I think it was, I think I was triggered. I'm sorry, I'm gonna sit with this for a little while and really get to know what it is that is that external trigger or that external representation of something of someone of something that's said and what's underneath it so remember that the trigger it's never ever that issue it's always the stuff that's right underneath it and do some personal excavation to get to the core of it and that's how you can set yourself free so i hope that's helped please like and subscribe please share and also please let me know in the comments if this is something that you've experienced if you struggle with it or if you have a different opinion to me that's always good to hear too and uh, let's help each other to really work on this stuff because this is how we're going to evolve and how we're going to live more consciously by actually doing the work okay it's goodbye from me i'll see you soon goodbye goodbye